hello again and welcome back to my channel today's tutorial is for another of the baby cardigans similar to the other ones that i've already um, made previously this one is called pretty shells we're going to start with a five millimeter hook and i'm using a double knit yarn so we're going to start with a chain of 49 Oh, and I would leave quite a long um, tail of yarn because we can use this yarn to sew the buttons on when the cardigan's finished. So I'm going to start with a slip knot onto the hook and then we work the chain of 49. So 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46 47 48 and 49 and then into the fourth chain from the hook we're going to work a double so yarn over into that chain pick up a loop yarn over through two and yarn over through two we're going to do that all the way along this um, row of chain now I have actually made um, a video that just shows the yoke of the cardigans that I make because on all of the cardigans the yoke is exactly the same. So I'll put a link to that video into the description of this video just so that you can um, work from that and not actually watch me making the whole of the yoke. But if you want I'll just carry on a little bit on this one and then I'll explain the increase rows for the yoke as we go along and we can then work on the skirt of the of the cardigan so I'll not um, carry on he is showing you how to do a double crochet into each of the stitches. I'll meet you when we get to the end of the row. Once you've worked a double into each of the chains, you will have a stitch count of 47. The yoke has got six rows. Three of the rows are increased rows and three are just like this one where we do a double into each stitch so to start the first increase row we're going to work three chain that's going to count as the first stitch and flip over the work we're going to work a double into the next stitch and then we work two doubles into the next So we've got a chain of three that counts as the first stitch and then we've got two doubles and then we've got, uh, sorry, we've got, it, in effect, we've got two doubles, the chain three and a double and then we work two doubles into the next stitch. So the next pattern repeat now, we're going to work a double in each of the next three. Oops. So we've got double, double and double and then we do two doubles into the next stitch. We're going to repeat that all the way along the row, working a double in the next three and then two doubles in the fourth one, a double into the next three and two doubles into the fourth stitch all the way along. When we reach the end of this first increase row, we're going to work the three doubles across the next three stitches and that will leave the very last stitch, which was the chain three that we started with on the previous row. 
we're just going to work a double into the top chain of that three chain so at the end of this row you will now have 58 stitches the third row of the yoke is going to just be one double into every stitch so again you'll still have 58 stitches on that one the next increase row we're going to work as we did on the row that I've just shown here but where we had three doubles in between the increase where we did two into the same stitch we're only going to have two so we work a double we do the three chain to start which counts as the first stitch and then we're going to work a double into the next stitch and then we're going to work two doubles and then we just work one double in each of the next two and then two doubles into the next one and we do that on the next increase row so each row between the increases is just going to be a double in every row so row number one is a double in every stitch row two is the increase row where we do the two doubles with three doubles in between the third row is just a double in each stitch the fourth row is the next increase row where we're going to work two doubles in between the increase where we do two doubles into the same stitch the fifth row is going to just be one double in every stitch and the sixth row is the last row of increases and on that row we're going to do exactly the same as we did on row four but as I say I've already got a, a video that shows the whole of the yoke being worked and I will link that into the description so after the first increase row you will have 58 stitches after the second increase row which is row three you will have 77 and then we've got sorry I've made a mistake there row one we've got 47 stitches row two we have 58 row three is just the doubles we've still got 58 row four you will have 77 stitches row five you will still have 77 stitches as it's just a double crochet row and row six you will have 102 i've already made a yoke in pink so i'll just show you how the work will look once you've completed the row so this is row one just doubles row two we've got three doubles in between the increase row four at uh, row three is just doubles row four we've just got the two stitches in between each of the decree at uh, the increase row five is just doubles row six we've done the uh, two doubles again in between the increase rows so once you've completed the yoke we're ready to start the skirt now this on this row we're going to work v stitches and the v stitch for this particular pattern is a double two chains and a double all into the same stitch so i'm going to flip over and again we start every row with the three chain and that counts as the first stitch we're going to skip the next stitch which is this one here and then we're going to work a v stitch into the third stitch so we've got a double chain two and a double into that same stitch so now we're going to skip two stitches we only skipped the one stitch at the beginning but for the rest of the row we're going to skip two stitches and work a v stitch so there's skip one two the next stitch goes into the third one along two chain and a double into that same stitch skip two stitches and work a v stitch we're going to work this all, oops all the way along the row to the end so skipping two stitches and work the v stitch skip one 
skip two stitches and work a V. So I'll pause the video at this point and I'll carry on to the end of the row. If you want to do the same, V stitch, skip two, V stitch, skip two, V stitch and so on all the way along the row and I'll meet you when we get to the end. When you get to the end of this row with the Vs, again we're going to skip the last two stitches and we're going to work a double into that three chain that was the starting stitch from the previous row. So the next row that we do is going to divide the um, the skirt into three. We're going to have two fronts and a back that will all be joined and we'll leave a gap for the sleeves that we'll work in um, later on. So again, we're going to start with three chain and then we're working on the first five V stitches. We're going to work a front post double around the first stitch of the V. So just in case you're unsure of that stitch, it's yarn over, put the hook behind the stitch and pick up a loop, yarn over through two and yarn over through two. And then into the two chain of the V, we're going to work two doubles, chain one and two more doubles. That brings us to the second stitch of the V stitch and in that stitch we're going to work a front post double. So that's the pattern repeat for each of the V stitches. So we're going to do exactly the same to the next four V's. Yarn over, front post double into the two chain of the V we're going to do two doubles chain one and two doubles and then a front post around the second V the second stitch of the V so we've got front post double two doubles chain one oops I've only done one double there two doubles and then we do the front post double around the second stitch of the V stitch. We do that again, as I say, up to the fifth V stitch. So we've now got four shells. We need to do one more onto this fifth V stitch. So we've got five all together. We're now going to skip the next six V stitches. So we've got one, two, three, four, five and six. So into the seventh V stitch, if you just pull the skipped ones to the front there, we're going to carry on working that same pattern repeat into the seventh V. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six that we've skipped. We work a front post double around the first V of the seventh V. Work the two doubles, a chain one and two doubles. 
and then we're going to do a V stitch, uh, sorry, a front post around the second stitch of the V there. So we've got five here. We're now going to work exactly the same as we've just done on this V. We're going to do it into the next 10. So for the back of the cardigan, there will be 11 of these shells. So I'll just work the next one. Front post double, two doubles, chain one, and two doubles, and then front post around the next stitch. We start again with the next shell. So front post double around the first half of the V and then the two doubles, chain one and two doubles into the chain space and then a front post double. So the pattern repeat, we've got three shells. We're going to need 11 all together before we uh, skip the six V's again for the second sleeve. So again, if you want to just pause the video and I'll meet you when we get to the 11th one. So I've just worked my 10th shell into the 10 V's. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Just going to work the one shell into the 11th V along. Two doubles and the final front post double. That leaves us with 11 V's. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We're going to again skip the next six. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. We're going to do the last five shells into those last five V's. So we start again with the front post double you can just pull the skip stitches to the front there work two doubles chain one and two doubles into that two chain space and a front post double we're just going to do the same again into the next four stitches uh, sorry the next four v stitches and then we'll do the final double into this chain three Chain one, two doubles, and a front post double. And then start again with the next shell, a front post double, two doubles, and one, and two, chain one, and two doubles, and then don't forget that final front post double around the second half of the V. That just leaves us two more to do. On to the final one. And then the last double goes into the top of the three chain that started the previous row. So now the cardigan has formed into the fronts and the back with the skip stitches that we um, that we leave for the sleeves. So the next row is the same as the first row of the skirt and we're going to work three chain as the first stitch and then we go into the chain one 
that's in the middle of the shell where we've got the two doubles and then we had a chain one and two doubles we do a V stitch which is a double two chain and a double and then we're going to skip the two doubles the front post double the front post double that we did and the next two doubles and we're going to work a V stitch into that next two chain space so we just work the same all the way along this row working a V stitch into the one chain space in the middle of the shell and we skip all other stitches so if you want to carry on and work your V's again I'll meet you when we reach the end of the row so I've reached the end of the row here we've done the last V stitch into the chain one of the shell we go straight to the top of the three chain that we started and work a double into that stitch so these two rows now are going to form the pattern for the skirt the next row is going to be the shell row so again we flip over work three chain and work a front post double around the first part of the V and then the shell which is two doubles chain one and two doubles and then we work a front post double and then we're ready to start the next shell which is exactly the same a front post double and then two doubles into the chain space chain one and two doubles so now because we split and skipped the V stitches for the sleeves we've now got 21 shells across the the skirt so if you want to carry on and work your two row pattern until you've got the desired length of the skirt I would say that five or six rows uh, repeats of the shells is usually long enough for this first size baby cardigan but if you want yours to be longer or if you're working with an Aran yarn and a bigger hook you could add an extra row or uh, an extra two rows or even two lots of the shell patterns to make it that little bit longer on the one that I've made already I've got one, two, three, four, five of the repeats, but you could do more if you want a longer cardigan. So we just carry on working the same pattern repeat of a shell, the front post double, and then you start the next shell. A front post double and then the shell which is two doubles chain one and two more doubles and then don't forget that last front post double and then coming back on the next row once you've done the shell row we're just going to work the V stitch all the way along not forgetting that the first stitch is the three chain the very last stitch is a double crochet in the top of the three chain from the row before so I'll leave you to work the skirt and I'll meet you to start on the sleeves now I've worked three of the pattern repeats here but obviously on your cardigan you will have done five or six but just to show you how we finish off and do the borders I'm just going to do the three to keep the video that little bit shorter but you will have twice as many um, of the pattern repeats as I've got here so for the last stitch of the row again we're going to do that double into the top of the chain that we started with so we're now going to work up 
the side along the neck and down the other side so on this part we're going to work the button holes and then you'll put the buttons on the corresponding side on the other side so we're going to start by working a half uh, sorry a single crochet in around the shaft of that stitch that we've just done so we've done a double we're going to just work a single so the next single is going to go into the top of the chain where we did the double we're going to work a single into the next space and then a single into the top of that stitch there we'll just do that all the way along And then we get to the first um, bar of the stitch that we did to start this row. We're going to do a single into that space. And then we're going to do a single around each of the doubles and a single into the bottom of the stitch as well. So we've got one into the, into the stitch, one around the stitch, one into the stitch, one around and we'll just carry on until we get to where the first button hole is i've sort of done mine about halfway down the yoke and i only put two buttons so to form the button hole we're just going to do three chain and then we're going to slip stitch into the same space where we had the single so we've got a single, three chains and a slip stitch all into that same stitch. And then again, we're going to the base of the stitch, around the stitch, into the base of the stitch, around that stitch, into the base of the stitch. And again, this is where I'm going to place the second button hole. So again, we've got three chain and then I'm going to slip stitch into that same space. And then I'm going to do a final single into that last space there. We're now going to work along the neck and I'm going to work a single crochet in between each of the stitches that we did on this foundation row here. So we're going to go into the space and work a single, into the next space work a single and we work that all the way along so that each of the singles is falling between the two doubles of that first row. And we just work that all the way along to the next corner. Okay, now I'll let you pause the video and I'll meet you when we get to the other side. So I've now gone all the way along the neck and I'm at the top of the opposite side. I left the long thread of um, yarn there so that I can sew the buttons on with that. But we're just going to do exactly the same as we did coming up the front. We're going to go now down. So we do a single into the stitch, uh, sorry, a single around the stitch. And then we're going to do a single into that space at the bottom, a single into the stitch, a single into the base of the stitch, a single into the around the next space. Oops, I've done that with the wrong piece of yarn there. I do apologise. I've done that with the length that I kept for the the buttons. Right, so we go around the stitch with a single and into the base of the stitch with a single around and then into the base of the stitch with a single around the stitch into the base we just carry on all the way down to the bottom working a single in each stitch and a single in the base of each stitch A 
again, you will have twice as many of these shells to work round going down the other side as I've only got the three and you'll have five or six. But when you get to the last shell, you're just going to work a single into the base and a single around and then you'll cut off and leave a length of yarn that you're going to then work in and that will give it a nice neat finish and obviously you'll sew the buttons corresponding to the button holes like we've done on this one that we've got two button holes and I've sewn on two buttons to correspond with those two button holes there so once we've done that we're ready to do the sleeves and I'll only work one sleeve to show you how the sleeves worked because both sleeves are identical. So where we've got the six V's that we skipped from the yoke, we're now going to join underneath where those skip stitches are in between these two shells here. And I'm going to start with a standing double crochet, but if you want to, you can join and work three chains instead. So I'm going to work around that stitch there with a standing double. And then we've got the first V here on the yoke. So we're going to start with a front post double around that first V. And then we're going to work the shell into the two chain space. So we've got one, two, a chain and then two more doubles and we do the final front post double around the second half of the V. We're going to do the same around each of the next five V's that we skipped from before. So the pattern repeat is the same as it was on the skirt but we're only working over the six stitches. The six V should I say. So the first row is the shell row and this is the row that you'll also finish on like you did with the skirt so that we've got a scalloped edge at the bottom. down to the final two V's here. And now the last one. So we've got the front post double, two doubles, a chain one and two doubles and then the final front post double around the second half of the V. That will bring us to that first stitch that we did so you'll either have a standing, a standing um, double here or you'll have the three chain. Either way we're going to join into the top of that stitch and slip stitch. We now need to turn the work around because we want to keep the right and the wrong side like we did with the skirt. So we're going to do three chain as the first stitch and then we're going to go straight into that chain one space and work the V. And then we skip along to the next shell. And we're going to do a V stitch into that chain one space there. And these are the two rows that form the 
the pattern repeat for the sleeves. So again, we've got a V stitch and we'll have six Vs again for the next row. Straight across to the next one. And then into the sixth one there. So we've got six V's again. We've got one, two, three, four, five, and six. We're going to join into the top of that three chain that we did to start the row with a slip stitch. And then we're going to again turn around because we're now back onto the right side. We'll do three chain again. Just move that little tail of yarn there. And then we've got the six shells to work into the six V's. So we do the front post double around that first one and then the shell the front post double and then we go on to the second one again you can adjust the length of the sleeve on mine I've done uh, four of the shell repeats for my sleeve here one two three and four but again to save the video being excessively long i'll just work two shells and then i'll show you how to fasten uh, how to finish off the cuff of the sleeve So for the sleeve, when we started the shell patterns, we started with the right side of your work facing and then the V-stitches are on the wrong side. As long as you just remember to flip over so that you work in each round on each side of the sleeve because with no seam or anything, we're just working it in the round. And there we've got the last of the front post double. We've come back to where the chain three was that starts the row that you can see there. We're going to join into the top of that three chain with a slip stitch. And as I say, I've only done two of the pattern repeats, but you will do four or five, depending on what length you want your sleeve to be. But once you've got the length of the sleeve that you want, we're going to work two double, uh, sorry, two chain, and that's going to count as the first half double. We're going to skip the next stitch and we're going to do a half double into the next one. Skip a stitch, work a half double. Skip a stitch, work a half double. Skip a stitch and work a half double. And we're going to work that all the way around the edge of the sleeve. So we're skipping a stitch and then working a half double stitch. And we work that around the six shells. This is going to bring the cuff in slightly. So I'm just working a half double in every other stitch.
until we get that round to the two chain that we did as the first stitch. And again, we're just going to join into the top of that two chain. And then we're going to do two chain, which is again going to count as the first half double. And this row, we're just going to work one half double into every stitch all the way around. So we're not skipping any stitches at all on this row. We we'll just work a double, a half double into each half double that we worked on the previous round. When you get to the end, you'll just join into the top of that first two chain with a slip stitch and then fasten off and work in the ends. Just go all the way around with the half doubles. I just think it finishes off the sleeve if there's a little bit of a cuff at the edge rather than the scalloped edge. So when you've got to that point there, you would fasten off the yarn, snip off um, well, you've joined with a slip stitch and then snip off the yarn and work in the ends. So the sleeves have got a little cuff on the end there that you can see that's the two rows of half doubles. So that completes the cardigan and I hope that you've enjoyed the video. Um, subscribe to the channel and you can like the video any comments or questions feel free to post those under the video and i hope to see you again soon so thanks for watching bye